Well, hello again, and welcome to the VK6CS Farm with Amateur Radio channel. Now, uh, you've probably seen this before. Um, I made this for my uh, small uh, magnetic loop antenna I was playing around with. So, uh, simply because one of the guys at work has got a mag loop, he's made out of um, RG58. It's got a BNC connector on each end. He's got a little plastic box like this with a little airspace capacitor in it, and he uses it with his FT817. So I thought, okay, well, I'll make something a little bit uh, meatier that can be used with an FT-857. But um, I put the BNC connectors on it because I thought, well, um, if we're out and about and he's got his mag loop and he's got his 817 with him, um, I could have my 857 with me and just try connecting it to his um, RG-58 uh, magnetic loop antenna. Obviously the little airspace capacitor he's got in the plastic box that he uses for tuning it with the 817 wouldn't be suitable with the 857 so <clears throat> I put a vacuum cap in there to take the extra voltage. So the copper tube goes over here, cut a couple of little slots in it to go over the pegs on the BNC socket, put a hose clamp around it just to hold it, a bit of string there, throw that around a branch, bulldog clip clips back on the string and holds the loop up in the air or off the ground at least. Now you hear people, sorry about the shaking but I'm leaning over the bloody camera on the tripod to do this so it's, a, <coughs> it's got a handle on the back of it as well so if you can picture that I'm almost v-shaped uh, over the camera doing this bloody video. Now uh, you hear people talking about uh, the very high circulating currents there are in magnetic loop antennas and I noticed that the other day you see that? Where that has that BNC socket there. Can you see that's actually... It's got so hot that it's actually pulled the BNC socket through the plastic. That wasn't the soldering that did that. You can see it perfectly well soldered on the other side. And the other side was just like that. There was not a hint of distortion in the plastic. If you look at that on the inside there, if you can see that, you see that big, it's made a big squishy hole, big squishy hole in the plastic box. And it's actually tried to pull the BNC connector through or along the side, you know, in a downward direction because the magnetic loop, the copper pipe was hanging on there. And that will be simply because there was a poor connection to this BNC socket. So when it was on there, um, the connection couldn't have been terribly good and the high circulating current in the mag loop antenna has generated so much heat that it's pulled the BNC socket down the side of the plastic box. So I'll have to get another plastic box and I'll have to come up with a, uh, a better way of joining the loop to it. Something with a lot less resistance. Okay, well, hope you found that interesting. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.